in this example 4.5 let us analyze the circuit shown in order to determine the voltages at all nodes and current through all branches the threshold voltage of the transistor is 1 volt k n dash into w by l equals 1 milliampere per volt square neglect the channel length modulation effect that is assuming lambda equals to 0 the circuit is as shown in this figure in this problem rg1 is 10 mega ohm rg2 is 10 mega ohm drain resistance is 6 kilo ohm source resistance is 6 kilo ohm supply voltage is given as 10 volt let us analyze this problem from this circuit we can make sure that the gate current is zero the voltage at this gate point can be determined by applying the voltage division rule which is shown here the voltage division rule is given by vg equals vdd supply voltage times rg2 the resistance across which we are finding the voltage rg2 divided by rg1 plus rg2 substituting the values of vdd rg1 rg2 gives vg as 5 volt therefore vg equals 5 volt once vg equals 5 volt the transistor is turned on but we don't know what region the transistor operates let us assume that n mass transistor shown here operates in saturation region assuming this transistor operates in saturation region let us solve the problem later on we can check the validity of our assumption if at all our assumption is not valid then we can solve the problem again for the triune region of operation assuming mosfet operates in saturation region let us design let us estimate various voltages and currents since gate current is zero we already estimated gate voltage is 5 volt the other voltages can be estimated as follows the source voltage vs can be estimated as shown here vs is equal to id times rs the vs the voltage across the source resistor is id times rs since id is in milliampere rs is in kilo ohm which is given as 6 kilo ohm vs becomes 6 times id id is typically in milliampere so vs is equal to 6 id we can substitute here vs is equal to 6 id similarly vgs can be estimated based on the vs calculation vgs equals vg minus vs vg already we have computed which is 5 volt vs is 6 id substituting here we obtain the expression for vgs which is 5 minus 6 id similarly we can estimate the equation for drain voltage if you apply kvl through this we can obtain vd equals vdd minus id rd vdd is 10 volt id is in milliampere we can keep it as it is rd is in kilo ohm which is given as 6 kilo ohm substituting rd as 6 milliampere and kilo ohm cancels so vd equals 10 minus 6 id so this is the equation for dry voltage now already we assume that transistor operates in saturation region the saturation current equation is given by half of kn dash w bell into vgs minus vt the whole square we know that vgs equals 5 minus 6 id substituting the vgs value as 5 minus 6 id we obtain new equation for drain current which is id equals half of kn dash is 1 w bell is also 1 kn dash into w bell is 1 vgs is 5 minus 6 id minus threshold voltage is 1 whole square if you simplify this 5 minus 1 becomes 4 half which is taken as 0.5 so final equation for id is 0.5 into 4 minus 6 id whole square we can expand this using a minus b whole square 
and we obtain the simplified equation as id equals 0 0.5 16 plus 36 id square minus 2 into 4 into 6 id. On simplification, we get id as 8 plus 18 id square minus 24 id. Again, we can further reduce to the quadratic equation. The quadratic equation what obtained is 18 id square minus 25 id plus 8 equals to 0. Solution to this quadratic equation yields two values. One of them is id equals 0 0.89 milli ampere. Another value of id is 0 0.5 milli ampere. Among these two values, let us find out which value of id is valid. To determine the validity of id, let us take id as 0.89 milli ampere. Substituting in Vs equation already derived, Vs equals 6 times id, id is now 0.89 milli ampere, Vs equals 5.34 volts. For id is equal to 0 0.5 milli ampere, Vs equals 6 into 0 0.5 which gives me 3 volts. Now on observation of Vs 5.3 volts and 3 volts, for id equals 0.89 milli ampere, source voltage is greater than the gate voltage. Since gate voltage is 5 volt, source voltage what we obtained is 5.34 volts. Source voltage itself is greater than the gate voltage. For id equals 0 0.5 milli ampere, source voltage becomes less than the gate voltage that is 5 volt. Among these two values, 0 0.89 id value as 0 0.89 milli ampere becomes invalid since source voltage is greater than the gate voltage. For transistor to be on, source voltage must be less than gate voltage. Therefore, id equals 0 0.5 milli ampere is a valid value. Now we can show the graph of equation 1 and as well as VGS equation. Equation 1 is id equals 8 plus 18 id square minus 24 id. On simplification, equation 1 reduces to 18 id square minus 25 id plus 8 equals to 0. So the equation here, equation 1, simplified equation 1 shows is the mathematical equation for this curve. The equation for VGS which we already derived VGS equals 5 minus 6 id is a straight line equation. To obtain the two points of the straight lines, on substitution of id equals to 0, we obtain VGS as 5 volt which is the point on the horizontal axis. On substituting VGS as 0 volts, we obtain id as 5 by 6 which is a point on the vertical axis. Joining these two points gives a straight line equation of this line. Now, the intersection of this straight line with this curve gives us the Q point. This is an intersection point. The intersection point is at for the drain current ID equals 0.5 milliampere which we already calculated. Next, let us substitute the values of gate and source voltage and recalculate, recheck the value, the region of operation. VGS equals VG minus VS. Since Vs is equal to 3 volt, Vg equals 5 volt. Vgs is 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 volt. Therefore, Vgs equals 2 volt. Earlier we derived the equation for Vd. Vd equals 10 minus 6 id. Substituting the drain current here gives Vd as 7 volt. Now, to calculate the region of operation, we need to estimate Vgd. VGD equals VG minus VD. VG is 5 volt. VD is 7 volt. 5 minus 7 gives you minus 2 volt. The threshold voltage of the transistor is given as 1 volt. On comparison of VT and VGD, VGD is less than VT. Therefore, transistor operates in saturation region as assumed initially. 